Since 1986, Derek Walker Youngs has devoted his life to the pursuit of peace. I was born in England, actually, uh, during the Second World War. My mother delivered me by herself during an air raid. So even the very first breath I was taking, they were bombing me, for goodness sake. So maybe that might have something to do with my walking for peace. Derek Youngs was a peace pilgrim, and walking to Japan was his dream. So I have a dream, and my dream is one day to walk to Japan. Yes. But it's a dream, not a goal, which means that I have a lifetime to get there, and I've got the whole world to walk through. He always said he had a thousand people to meet, a thousand beautiful things to see along the way, and probably a thousand lessons to learn. The stories in walking to Japan are stories of these lessons and these people and these places. You know, the person he turned into wasn't necessarily who he thought he would become. As a young person, he had big glimmerings of wanting more in his life. He took advantage of opportunities and took one step at a time and, and ended up creating a life that was deeply meaningful. Before Derek started walking for peace, he would often hike up to the top of a mountain near his home and sit there on a rocky outcropping and find his inner peace. And I do the same thing. I hike up this little mountain almost every day. And in fact, a lot of the books sort of took shape as I walked. And as I sat here on this rocky outcropping, looking out at this view, my husband believed that we are all capable of doing and being so much more than we ever realized possible. And he was a living example of this. He had a dream. He didn't know how to make that dream unfold, but he trusted that if he took just one step and then another, that those steps would pave the way and that one day his dream would be realized. <laughs>